Hey there YouTube, this is Ice9 with another Mad Mobile video and in this video I'm going to be covering the positional heroes for the day. Uh, positional heroes has been overshadowed by game changers and basically, as I've said in my other videos, uh, the sets are so hard to do that most people can't even get these guys, not at least when they come out. So... We see another 98 offensive guard. We're going to take a look at our guard choices in a second. And Richie the Bully Incognito. So let's take a look at the stats. Pretty fast for a guard. Good acceleration. Decent pass block. Really good run block at 97. And 95 impact block means that he will be pancaking people. Uh, including his own teammates at some points in time. So, pretty good card all in all, though. Uh, I think, I mean, I still have the elites. I didn't sell all the offensive guard elites that I had. So, I'm just going to keep them there in the set for now. And if the position collectibles come down, and we'll check on the, the prices of uh, collectibles for both the positional heroes for this week, uh, there's, yes, I'll, I'll try to complete the set at some point. We have another 98 defensive end in Michael Bennett. I like Bennett as a player. Uh, he's more of a power defensive end with 94 unboosted strength and 96 power moves. I'm not sure what his block shed is, but I imagine it's somewhere in the 90s. Hit power is decent. Uh, tackle number is pretty decent, so pretty good choice. You can kind of see, though, that I've already made a choice on this guy because of the collectibles. I went ahead and sold the elite defensive ends that I had. They weren't really expensive anyways, uh, just to try to get some extra coins. But let's take a look and see what these collectibles are going for at the auction house. So we're going to look up Bennett, and we're going to look up Elite Collectibles, and let's see what they're going for. Under 300,000 coins, and there's one sitting, uh, not for too long, but 250,000 coins. One just sold at 125,000 coins, way under what the other ones were. But these will eventually come down with time as more of them and more of them filter out into the market. Uh, but still pretty expensive at this point. And also the drop rates out of packs. Either people aren't pulling pro packs much or there's just not much of a drop rate with these. So we just don't have too many in the marketplace. Now let's see what the player itself is going for. There's one out there for 2 million coins. Um, I do believe you could put him together less expensively yourself at this point. In fact, I'm sure you can. Stats look pretty good though. A lot of green as opposed to Taylor. Some of it is things that are easily boostable though like strength and awareness but still very good power defensive end in the game let's go from that to incognito and there's a couple of them out there just under three million coins let's spread out our search now and look at 98 and above Defensive guards actually let's yeah let's go 98 and above guards so there's the Hutchinson card still pretty expensive all the guards are are pretty expensive uh, there's a boss Hutchinson here that's being bid on currently at 1.5 million but a lot of time to go two days to go so it's not going to end up there for sure and these are good cards, but it's arguable at this point if it's worth spending the coins at this time. I mean, if you're just looking to increase your overall, that's basically what these guys are for. Uh, they will play better, too. You'll see small differences in gameplay. Uh, but 
just kind of an expensive upgrade to get at that position. We already looked up 98 defensive ends, so we're not going to do anything there. But let's look up Incognito's collectibles and see what they're going for. Huh. Somebody asking 15 million. Good luck. Wow, are these expensive. Looks like somebody is monopolizing the collectibles already, so this is absolutely crazy. Cheapest one on the market, going for 850,000 coins. This is actually more than they were going for earlier in the day. I saw them going for 400,000 coins earlier in the day. So, because EA has position collectibles, you know, that means that this is the thing to monopolize. And because of that, Good luck with all you because nobody's going to buy the collectibles. Nobody in their right mind is going to buy these collectibles at these prices just to complete the sets. So that has been the problem with positional heroes. Uh, you can't get the collectibles from live events and, you know, therefore they're less of a thing. You know, you usually people can't afford to do these sets week to week to week. So... That's basically it. Just wanted to go through the positional heroes for the week. Thanks for watching. Uh, always check out Papa Raider, Aiden Sapphire, and Ryan. They are in my YouTube subscriptions as well. Thanks for watching.